In the year 2075, precisely 25 years before the future timeline, a young Wilf and Alita live with a group of homeless kids in an abandoned park. One day, while hunting for food, the duo is captured by a team of service workers and taken to an adoption center. Back in 2032, Tommy grows wary of Burton's family and pays them a visit. Recounting the strange events they've been involved in, the cop confronts them about the invisible cars parked near their home alongside their recent association with Corbel, the town's ringleader. Realizing something is amiss, Tommy questions what they're up to, but Burton and Flynn refuse to offer an explanation. Having no substantial leads to follow, the cop drops the issue and eventually drives off. As Tommy leaves, Flynn expresses she's uneasy keeping secrets and suggests they come clean to the cop. Hearing this, Burton instantly disapproves and claims the gamer only wants to tell Tommy because she has a crush on him. Triggered by her brother's words, Flynn aggressively yells at him and quickly escalates things. As the angry gamer continues, her eyes turn red, followed by a full-on seizure as she convulses on the floor. Minutes later, Flynn recovers, with Burton swiftly rushing her to the local hospital. There, they meet Dee Dee, a doctor and Tommy's fiance. Burton explains all that happened and notes Flynn's been playing a new VR game, but takes care not to give any incriminating specifics. After running a cranial scan, Dee Dee reveals there aren't any signs of seizure, but decides to run a more comprehensive test that takes days to process. In the meantime, she discharges Flynn and advises her to quit playing the game until things finally get resolved. After the consultation, the duo returns home with Flynn watching a video sim on their family VR set while Burton heads out to meet his friends. The concerned brother is pissed that the new game is making his sister sick and decides to do something about it. Consulting with his friends, the group suggests they enter the VR world without Flynn's knowledge and warn her employers to leave her alone. Finalizing their plans, Connor volunteers to be their representative and uses the VR set to infiltrate the alternate timeline. Upon arrival, Connor occupies Flynn's peripheral and is overjoyed on realizing he can walk in that world. Connor tries to make a run for it, but Ash severs his connection and sends the man back to his original timeline. Realizing what happened, Ash informs Wilf of Connor's infiltration and sends him to tell Flynn. The futuristic man hacks into the gamer's video sim and appears in the digital world. He tells Flynn about Connor and also learns about her recent seizure. As the duo gets talking, the gamer reveals she's been researching the version of Lev in her timeline and discloses some disturbing news. She explains the Lev in her stub is dead, as he and his entire family were brutally murdered. Learning this, Wilf becomes concerned and decides to report the news to his boss as he returns home. In the future, Sharice learns of Flynn's connection with Wilf and traces the duo to their employer, Lev. She visits the wealthy boss and, mincing no words, accuses him of being the mastermind behind Alita's theft from her organization. When Lev feigns ignorance concerning the situation, the RI leader lectures him on their societal structure. Charisse explains three major governing entities keep their world in check. The Klept Oligarchy, a small group of families with immense wealth and power, which Lev belongs to. The Met Police, which is the policing organization tasked with maintaining order and keeping the cleft in check. And finally, the Research Institute, a company that oversees invention of new age tech, which their society runs on. Charisse notes each of these entities is regulated by the others and must never overstep their boundaries. To buttress this, the tech leader brings up an example of a dead cleft member who broke the rules and was executed by the Met Police with the aid of R.I.'s tools. Charisse goes into great detail on how the hunt was done, citing the R.I. utilized an army of bots to scan the cleft's DNA and hunt not just him, but his entire lineage down. After narrating the story, she delivers a subtle threat and leaves the premises, but not before stealing Lev's teacup containing his DNA. Minutes later, Wilf arrives and tells his boss about the tragic demise of his family in Flynn's stub. In a shocking twist, Lev reveals he's actually the one who ordered the assassination of his other self and family. The rich cleft explains he was troubled by alternate versions of him living in various realities and as such paid men to assassinate them. Diving into more detail on the stub, Lev outlines his plan to use Alita's stolen data from the RI to access more stubs and capitalize on the alternate worlds to make money. 
Ending the conversation, the rich cleft calls Rabat to escort Wilf out as the employee takes his leave. The following day, back in Flynn's timeline, the gamer continues to experience strange symptoms as her hand has uncontrollable spasms. Despite this, she completely ignores the doctor's instructions and revisits the future, much to Burton's disapproval. Arriving at the alternate timeline, Flynn realizes she spends most of her time cooped up in Lev's house and moves to explore the streets. Under Ash's supervision, she scans the area and perceives the number of people in the future is much less than those in the past. Suspecting a large-scale event may have wiped out the population, Flynn questions Ash about it. On her request, Ash and Wilf take the gamer to a modern museum situated in a graveyard. There, they deliver a lecture on the jackpot, a catastrophic series of events that led to the demise of about 7 billion people. Using the museum's flying exhibits, Wilf highlights each of the jackpot's phases. He explains the worldwide event began in 2039, merely seven years from Flynn's current time. The first phase was the complete failure of the North American electrical grid, prompting months-long blackouts throughout the continent. This electric failure was closely followed by the Blood Plague, a planet-ending pandemic caused by the filovirus. As the sickness ravaged the Earth, it was accompanied by several calamities ranging from environmental catastrophes, drought, and famine, to antibiotic failure and agricultural collapse. Naturally, these led to the loss of many lives as a severe population collapse occurred. However, the catastrophes weren't over as the jackpot had one last phase. The final event was a domestic terrorist attack launched in the U.S., in which a nuclear missile silo in North Carolina blew up, just miles from Flynn's hometown. The resulting atomic detonation wiped the area clean, as everything within miles of the attack was gone. Overwhelmed by the gory sight, the frightened gamer jolts out of the future and returns home to the present.